What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name is Greg. What I'm doing for you guys today is I'm showing you guys a full-time week of Lyft earnings, uh, Lyft Express earnings, to be specific. Uh, this was a huge, huge week, one of my heavier uh, week hours-wise, and uh, I wanted to give you guys some info on the uh, rental rewards program with Lyft. As well as give you a good idea of just how much money you could be making if you ever were in a bind and you needed to do it. Uh, for me, it was kind of a good place. My car was in the shop for about a month. And so for a month, I was just grinding out the uh, Lyft Express drive. And I think it's also a great way to just even get familiar with Lyft. So maybe if you're new, this is a great way to sign up uh, and get started. Maybe you didn't even know you could do this. And um, I look at it as try it out for like two weeks on the rental program and then imagine it's a little bit better than that if you're not renting a car. <laughs> so maybe for those of you that are looking into Uber and Lyft, uh, this can be a good way for you to try it out and see if it's a good fit. But let's jump right into this. So I'm going to start. Here's a screenshot of Monday. So Monday I did $110. Uh, eight of that was in tips. Pretty simple day. Very bare minimum working six hours just grinding it out to get to a hundred bucks uh so a little bit slower i i like to try and make 20 an hour and if that's not there i get a little bit frustrated uh let's see so tuesday then i did 188 so pretty good for a tuesday um i think the more impressive thing is 35 bucks in tips for one day especially being a tuesday i feel like most people don't really tip that well on weekdays uh, and then I got $5 in cancellation earnings. I love those little cancellation earnings. If you're not literally like out your door when my m clock strikes five minutes, like I am gone. I will take your $5. My thing is, there's no excuse. You know, I know a lot of drivers that wait. This is a random rabbit trail, but I do feel like this needs to be said. I know a lot of drivers that will wait. And when I was a younger driver, I remember sometimes waiting 15 minutes. The reality is you don't know who's going to be taking advantage of you. Some people might take an extra minute, but if you think like that, you're going to end up waiting like 10, 20 minutes for some people and throwing off your day. My thing is you ordered the Lyft, you ordered the Uber. Um, not only is it sending you notifications when I'm close and when I've arrived and when I'm a minute or one or two minutes away, like you should just be looking, you know? And so I don't, I don't play around with those. Like if people aren't out there, as soon as it hits five minutes, I am, I will cancel. I have only done this once, but I one time canceled on someone as they were like walking out of their house, but I was just ticked. And I think it was like close to a bar rush. And I was like, listen, I'm not about to waste my time waiting for you to do whatever you're doing. So that's a little piece of advice is don't, don't wait too long for people. It's one thing if it's going to be a really good ride, like a 40 minute ride and you call them and they're like, can you just wait two minutes? Well, obviously you're going to do that. But especially if you have like Uber gold rewards or something that shows you where the ride's going, like cancel if it's going two minutes away and you've already waited the time you need to wait, you know, no reason not to. All right. So Wednesday, let's see, we did about 152, 20 bucks in tips and a $5 cancellation fee on that day too. Uh, just so you guys know, these days I was working night shift. I'm a really, really big fan of night shift if my body can make it happen because it is such easy driving. So I was just driving all through the night and then I would usually stop at like anywhere from 4 to 6.30 a.m. depending on the day and how I felt. Uh, but I wanted to just get that initial morning rush. Um, and the night is weirdly, it's steady enough that you can do decent being out there. Um, at the time, the only bummer about Lyft Express Drive is I could only run Lyft and not Uber. So obviously, it was going to take a hit there, you know. But um, even for Lyft, it was relatively steady at night. And I almost thought better than driving during the day. So if you're one of those people that you're like anti Uber and you only do Lyft, like night shift is probably the thing for you to consider because majority of the drivers are asleep, you know, and I made good money doing it at night. All right. Thursday, a little bit of a chill day. I was probably just getting ready for the weekend more than anything. 90 bucks, 10 in tips, you know, I mean, not bad for a quick shift. Um, but let's just move right along. Friday is where things get a little spicy. 267. 
25 bucks in tips. Uh, now this is what annoys me. So then if you'll notice at the bottom, the rental rewards says $60, okay? So the one thing that always bothered me about their program is at the beginning of the week, I was paying, you, uh, you'll see it on the first screen when I put it up there. I was paying two nineteen dollars for the car, insurance, and maintenance. Uh, the one thing they try to do to make it worthwhile is your insurance is include with the, included with the rental car as well as any maintenance through, for me it was Pet Boys, it might be different in each state. But so anytime I had any kind of issue with the car, uh, air, air in the tires, oil change, I could go to any Pet Boys and they would do the maintenance for it for free. So that was pretty nice. Um, it still didn't outweigh the cost, but so basically I was paying two nineteen for the car. And then I think, I think at, when it was all said and done, it was more like two sixty with like taxes and whatever other crap they had involved in it. And, um, but then they allowed you to make it back. Uh, so basically if you gave 110 rides in a week, you would hit the, so your first bonus was at 75 rides and that would be for 60 bucks. And the second one um, was for 55. And so I think total you could save like 115. And um, and with, like I said, with all the taxes and everything, when it's all said and done, you replace pay, paying more like 140, maybe a little bit less, maybe it was more like 115 a month as opposed to 219. So it was nice. And to be honest, that's not a bad deal because I think most people especially Uber drivers, if you added up what your, um, what your insurance and let's say you're financing car, you're financing your car. So your insurance, your car payment, and we'll just say your, your maintenance for the month. If you added that up, I guarantee you it would be probably more expensive than if you were hitting the reward every week. And let's say you paid one fifteen a week for all that. Um, you know, you're at 230, 345, 460. 460 a month for car insurance, a car, and maintenance uh, for a month is a, is a good deal. Obviously, you'd have to add up that maintenance from like three to six months because I don't think I even go to the shop once a month. But um, so to put it in perspective, like I at one point had a car payment alone that was, you know, close to $300 a month. And, um, you know, actually at one point, like 350. So you're thinking there was one point where I was paying for a car, 350 bucks a month. And the cars are nice. Like I drove a really nice Kia Soul for a while. It was brand new. It was like a 2018, um, no miles on it. I had, uh, a Chevy Malibu. I really didn't like the Malibu at all, but it was still, it was a newer car. It had good features. So you're, you're not getting junkers, right? Um, but um, so all that being said, the numbers aren't really accurate for Friday's data. So we have 267, 25 in tips, but 60 of that is from the rental rewards. And that's basically just money I paid earlier in the week. So I always thought it was kind of dumb that they show that in your earnings. Like, oh, look at this big bonus you made. And I'm like, no, no, I paid you. That's literally my money. You're just giving it back to me. <laughs> um. Moving right along, Saturday, same scenario. Obviously, 330 looks monstrous. 41 in tips, $10 in cancel fees, and then $55 in rental rewards. Now, you got to think, I obviously still did pretty good that Saturday. I mean, I probably did more like um, 270 something, 280 something before the rewards were entered into the earnings. Uh, let's see. And then Sunday, 85 bucks, uh, 14 bucks in tips, you know, nothing really to see for Sunday, but I do want to say Saturday I did 41 bucks in tips. That's not bad. I like that. I mean, a day where you can make that much in tips is a good little extra earnings. So now let's look at the overall week, 132 rides, $900 and 71 hours of online time. Now, a lot of those hours, I was probably waiting for rides. But let's be honest, like, I was still out here. It's not like I was sitting in my apartment enjoying my life or playing video games, you know, doing something I love. I was still out here. So, 71 freaking hours. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind is 
I only needed to give 110 rides. So we could minus 22 rides. Let's say hypothetically, on average, you give two rides per hour. So let's say hypothetically, we removed um, we removed those uh, 22 rides and we removed 11 hours. So I could have done it in probably 60 hours. But that's how crazy this program is, is like to hit all the bonuses and get 110 rides. That, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. That's what you need for every bonus is to make 100. You have to do 110 rides in a week. So that would have taken me roughly 60 hours, um, give or take, obviously. That is intense. That's a lot of work. And that's why, like I tell people, like if you're going to do this program, it needs to be a transitional thing where for a few weeks, like you can grind it out. Or you got to be okay with paying 220 to, let's say you only hit the first bonus for 75. Um, so basically, you know, you could get it down to like 100, 100 plus a month. Like, let's say you only hit one bonus. Then it's a little more doable. My thing was, I'm going to try and hit every bonus I can if I can. So during that time, I had the time, but the honest truth of these hours is doing the express program like you guys can do the math in your head just by looking at that that's not worth your time um that is not the best money and a lot of this is because you do make a lower rate um when you're renting you don't get paid as much per mile so hypothetically like this could literally be like an 11 or 1200 hundred dollar week I doubt it would be that high. I would say realistically, it's maybe a thousand fifty, maybe eleven hundred is what it could have been if these hours had all been normal rides, right? But um, that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today. I'm gonna hold off on on extending or rabbit trailing this video anymore because I've already done it like six times. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I've got a lot more content coming out soon. And I will talk to you guys soon.